Good morning, good evening. I'm divinely destined. Welcome back to another reading. This is going to be a general collective message read for the collective of Twin Flames. Hey, Twin Flames. Hey, Divine Feminine, beautiful Empress. Hey, Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculines that are watching the reading, hello. If you are new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be alerted to all future readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, email me. I am available. Happy Virgo season. Happy birthday to all the beautiful, luscious Virgos watching the reading. I pray that you guys are having a good day. And you know what? Don't forget to give your Virgo lover, your friends, your Virgo parents, your partners, extra, extra kisses this Virgo season. The world needs the Virgos, honey. The world needs the Virgos. So we're going to go ahead and tap in and see what's going on with these divine masculines. You know, the energy the, the, the energy in the collective is extremely power, powerful right now. You may feel more, more connected than, to your divine masculine than ever. You may feel a need to be more connected to him at this time, okay? He's always connected to you, so you don't have to fear that he's abandoned you or, you, you know, he's disappeared. He's right there, okay? He is you. You are him. He's the other half of you. If you got some time today, go research Twin Flames. It's a very powerful, soulful connection that is bound, okay? You guys are bound by a red string of fate, okay? This string can never be broken, okay? This is something you guys both agreed upon before you incarnated into this earth for this lifetime. Now, a lot of twin flames are not incarnated with their twin, okay, at, at, at this particular lifetime. Some twins are still in the other, you know, other realms right now, but they are watching over the person that, you know, they're watching over their twin currently. And also, if you lose your twin flame, you and, you know, they pass away, your twin flame always watches over you because you guys still have a mission to complete. So you guys can never, ever be separated. It's a beautiful, loving connection. It may not always feel like it because, you know, we are in the 3D. We're in the human body. So you got the human ego. Both twins have a mission here. You know, the, both of you guys are designed to work on yourself, okay, before you can ever, ever come into full union with each other. No, you guys are never going to be perfect, okay? But the, your twin flame helps awaken you. You, will help, you help awaken them. Okay, if it wasn't for my twin flame, I would never have a YouTube channel. I would have never been at this level, you know, spiritually. So I thank God for my twin flame. And I'm sure you guys wouldn't be where you are at currently in your spiritual journey if it hasn't been for your twin flame. I always pray for your twin flame. Okay, but once again, I feel like for this particular season and this particular current energy, I feel like you may be you may be feeling more pulled to your masculine. You may be more. You know, you may be wanting to see him more around this time or her. Take it how it resonates. Yes, you may be clinging to their energy more now. Okay, this is a reason. Okay, it's a reason why that's happening. This could also indicate that your masculine is getting ready to come in or communicate with you in the 3D. Okay, you may see him in physical reality. So if, you feel in, if you're feeling a lot of emotions towards him at this time or you're feeling the overwhelming need to be closer to him at this time, take note of that. That's a message right there. Once again, I love you guys. I love the Twin Flame journey. And sometimes it's not easy. We all know, okay? But once again, I pray that you guys have a great day. So I'm going to go ahead and start your reading. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages for the beautiful collective of Twin Flames? What's going on with these divine masculines? Okay, what's going on? Ooh, for your divine masculine, we got angel number zero, okay? Wow, there is no beginning and there is no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side, okay? It's time to develop your spiritual side, Divine Masculine. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. This is twin flame energy all day. You are limitless beings here, okay? You are divine individuals sent to the earth by God here for a special purpose. And your Divine Masculine, you know what? The universe is letting him know it's time to develop more of his spiritual side, you know, a lot of these divine masculines are extremely powerful, but they are more focused on like the 3D, 3D reality. You know, the divine feminines are more open to spirituality, you know, in general. OK, but this is definitely the time for the masculines to, to start developing more of their spiritual side. You know, I feel like your divine masculine is definitely gaining more understanding of both, you know, earthly and spiritual matters. OK, he's getting a better understanding. We got angel number nine, nine. Okay. You know, the nines represents transformation. 
The nines also represent something coming to an end, okay? Cycles wrapping up. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash, unleash your true power, okay? Your divine masculine is courageous. He's limitless. And he's extremely powerful here. Yes, but it's up to him to start to get to work on his soul's mission. Yes, it's only going to be up to him. Divine, ma divine masculine, okay? It's only going to be up to, up to you. Divine feminine cannot help you with that. Okay, you have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. You're being called divine masculine to unleash your true power. You are certainly gaining new sights, okay, new understanding of this spiritual journey that you have embark embarked upon, okay? You signed up for this divine masculine. Beautiful. We got angel number 23. You know, we got angel number 23 breaks down to a number five. You know, five represents changes. And also we got number nine. So he's going through some changes and he's going through some transformations, divine feminine. Okay. You have a zest for life, divine masculine. And you are eager to experience everything and anything possible. You love change and excitement. You know what? And you need both to feel truly alive. You're, you know, for you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. Okay. Your divine masculine is extremely adventurous. You know, these, these are masculines here. Now, remember, divine fem divine feminine can be male, okay? Divine masculine can be um, woman, okay? Take the reading how it resonates. It's all energy, beautiful souls. It's all energy. But for me, to make the reading pretty simple, I always refer to the masculines as male because it's just easier to get the reading done, okay? But he has a zest for life, and he's eager to experience a lot of different things, okay? He loves change. He loves excitement. He's driven. He's ambitious. He's goal-oriented, okay? He's an innovator. These, these, these divine masculines are the frontliners. They're fearless. They're bold. But when it comes to the divine feminine, whew, that's a whole nother story, huh? We got angel number 888. Eight, eight. I feel like the divine feminine can bring him to his knees. Okay, no one makes him feel the way you do. Look, look how powerful this masculine is. Angel number 888. Eight, eight. He has the ability to sustain and create massive amounts of wealth for himself in this lifetime. Okay, Divine Masculine, your angels want you to know, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, that surrounds you, Divine Masculine, you're actually clearing a path for more positive energy to flow into your life. Okay, this is going to create more of a, you know, space and opportunity for you to create more abundance. He's extremely abundant. You know, the angels want you guys to know that your masculines are extremely powerful. You know, you get a lot of readers that always say, well, the, the Divine Feminine, is she's lighthead years ahead of the masculine. And you know what? That's just because women just mature faster, in my opinion. Okay? But he's just as, he's just as powerful as you, Divine Feminine. Okay? He's, he's the man, so he's going to be more driven to get out there and, and, you know, be more bold and, you know, courageous. This is just the nature of the man in general. Okay? Yes, but your angels want him and you guys to know that he's a limitless, he's a limitless courageous, adventurous, abundant, powerful masculine that knows how to go with the flow he may be in the energy of overthinking things right now okay because he is going through some sort of transformation and he's going through some cycle changes in his life okay he's growing to, he's growing more spiritual okay he's growing to become more spiritual he's becoming more comfortable in the spirituality i'm hearing as well some of these divine masculines are single parents some masculines are married okay you guys know about your masculine and if you don't then um, you should really be questioning whether or not you're on the twin flame journey. Journey. Now, if you don't know if you're really on a twin twin flame journey, just ask the universe to show you some of the signs that you actually do have a divine masculine or a divine feminine, and they will. Okay, uh, you know a lot of people do actually have twin flames, and I believe a lot of you guys that are watching the reading are twin flames. Okay, so give your give your give your masculine space to grow and become who he truly is, okay? He has to fulfill his purpose just like you. But you guys have a purpose together here as well, okay? Archangel Michael, can I get some more messages for the beautiful, talented collective of twin flames, specifically these divine masculines? We have angel number 33. You may be 23, your masculine may be 33, okay? We got the clover. This is some good news, okay? This is some powerful good news, beautiful. And I'm also hearing your masculine is older than you. 
Yep, your masculine is very, very older than you. Okay, we got angel number 44. Okay, you may be 23, he may be 44. That, you know, in the twin flame journey, that's always going to be noticeable. There, There's always going to be differences between the masculine and the divine feminine. He may be 16, 20 years older than you. He may be from a different background, race, culture than you. He may be from a different country than you. You guys may have been, you know, went to the same school at some point and never knew each other. Okay, the universe always arranges this connection to always come back together. Okay, you will always come back to him. He never really leaves you. He's always connected to you. But with the broken glass, he may have been going through a lot of bad hardships lately or, or over the past few years. But with angel number 99, that is certainly coming to an end. This thing is changing and turning around for him. But it's going to be up for the masculines to get on board with their soul's mission. Divine Feminine cannot do that for him. Okay? Beautiful. A lot of these masculines are super masculine and they're focused strictly on materialism and wealth and power and social status in the world. And a lot of them don't really, you know, get into their spiritual side as much as they should. This is why the angels are saying, hello, divine masculines. It's time to dig into this and get more serious about your soul's mission on the earth. Okay, we got a fox. He's closer than ever to you. This is somebody that's close to you, divine feminine. I told you, he may be, he may be watching you unbeknownst to you. Okay, you may not know it, but he's there. Okay, look, his desires for you are hot. Your divine masculine may be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also hearing uh, Pisces, but I'm also hearing Scorpio as well. You may be 38 years old. Yes, beautiful. He may be a chef. Look, your divine masculine energy shows up. That's him. This is who we're talking about today. You may, you may have known him 19 years. Yes. We got good fortune and we got good tidings and good fortune on top of angel number 888 and we got the number 38. Do you see how wealthy and abundant he is? Do you see the potential and capabilities that he has to be a millionaire? A lot of them are. Okay. A lot of you guys, divine masculines are super powerful. They're politicians, they're dictators, they're presidents. Okay. They're governors. They make laws. Okay. A lot of these, a lot of these divine masculines are entertainers, they're athletes, okay? A lot of them are just your local grocery store clerk. But whatever he does, he, he's powerful, okay? He stands out. The divine masculine can never just sit in a corner. Even if he did just sit in a corner, he's gonna be noticed. He's a divine being, okay? But with, with the number 888 and the number 38, the guy is powerful and he's abundant, okay? He may be in despair, okay? We got despair. Things have not been going good for him, especially with the broken glass. He needs to know that he is courageous and that he can overcome these obstacles and adversities. Okay. Wow. We got an older woman here. Yes, I felt like there was an age gap here. Now, this could represent a family member, a mother. Okay. This can also represent his wife. Okay. It could represent his spouse, the person that he's married to. He may be in despair over a connection that he's in. Okay, Divine Feminine. Look, we got a reunion, okay? This could also indicate he's in despair because he's pining for his divine feminine, okay? He's in despair. He wants to see you. He misses you. He needs you, divine feminine, okay? Yes, yes. I feel like for some of you, this is completely what the message is. He misses you. He's not happy right now because he doesn't have you in his life. Now, you say, well, if he doesn't have me in his life, then it's his fault. Why doesn't he come in? Because the universe is just not going to just throw this masculine back in your life. Okay? He has to work on these things. He, you know, the universe is just not going to release him to come back into your life, especially if he's in the energy of despair and he's going through a lot of karmic situations. He, the universe is just not going to release him to come back in your life to mess up your journey, Divine Feminine. Remember that. Look, we got misfortune. Yeah, he, and we got fire here. There's something significant about a fire here, okay? Or he may be a um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. He may have these things heavily aspected in his chart, okay? But yeah, there's a lot of fire energy here. There's a lot of there's a lot of intense energy going on with these divine masculines at this time. Yeah, he may be going through a, bent, a messy breakup, a bitter divorce. Things things in his life may not be going so well, okay? This is why the universe, this is why his angels are calling him to get on his mission here. It's time. He may have been fighting this thing, fighting his spiritual calling, fighting, fighting what he knows because he wants to keep living in the 3D patterns. 
you know, but the universe, God is like, hello, divine masculine. I'm trying to get your attention here. It's time to get on board here. There is a powerful connection that you're destined to. It doesn't matter how many times you run, no matter how many, how many times you fight this thing, how many times you say, I'm not going to go there. The universe will continuously bring this up because this is your destiny. Okay. This is your destiny. We got a merchant, your divine masculine. I spoke about that as well. He may be from a different nationality. He may be a different nationality or, you know, he may have been from a different country than you. There's some sort of significant age difference for some of you. There's also a race difference. There's a cultural difference as well. Yes. Look, we got a cat. There's something fake here. Okay, the cat represents falseness. Yep, I spoke about it. It's time for him to get on his path. Okay, we got some fake friends here with a foe. Yep, he may be connected to a woman that's not good for him. And this thing got him in despair. Once again, this could be his wife, okay? This could be, you know, somebody in his family, a colleague, or someone. There's a female here that got the masculine in despair, okay? He's feeling like she's coming off fake, okay? There's something not true and honest about this woman here, okay? This could be his karmic. Look, we got a message. There's a message coming in. I feel like he's going to reach out to you between 11 and 23 days. There's some messages coming in for you from your divine masculine. He can't continue to... I mean, I'm hearing he can't continue to put this off. He can't continue to pull back how he feels. I think he needs to reach out to you. For some of you, he's going to reach out because he needs your help. Okay? Or at the very least, he needs that peace of mind that he gets when he sees you or when he hears from you or when he picks up on your energy or when, or when you accept his energy. Okay? You bring him a peace of mind. Yes, he needs you right now, Divine Feminine, because a lot of these masculines are in a world of chaos. Yeah. Wow. I'm hearing the tower is coming. The tower is coming. The tower is coming. So this is massive here. Yep. With misfortune and flames, there's a major tower, a major tower coming. A lot of these masculines are going through breakups. Once again, divorces. And, you know, with the tower coming, that could also um, be that, you know, what your divine masculine is inexplicably or suddenly going to be back in your life. Look, here he is, your lover, your divine masculine. He may be 38 years old. Yes. Go play that number. If you play the lottery, go play 888. Okay, play 38. Play 88888. Yes. When you play the numbers 8, you know, I feel like that's going to be significant for a lot of you guys that play numbers here. Okay? But it's just like, it's just like suddenly he's going to be there. Because I'm hearing the tower is going to hit. Suddenly this breakup is going to, it's going to happen. Suddenly he's going to be divorced. He's in despair. He's in an unhappy relationship. We got misfortune, despair, a foe, and fakeness. So you may he may reach out to you and want to talk to you about his connections. Or he just may want to say hello because there's certainly the energy of the masculine need he needing. He he needs he needs you. Okay. He shows up three times. Three different times your masculine had four different times the masculine has showed up. This could also indicate four different masculines here, okay? This could represent four different masculines. This could also represent your masculine. Look how much he needs you, Divine Feminine, okay? He needs his Divine Feminine. And a lot of you guys don't see him coming because you know what? He has it designed like this. This is exactly how your Divine Masculine has it desi designed. And you know what, Divine Feminine? He may be keeping you quiet or he may not be talking to you because he's trying to keep you safe. For a lot of you, he's trying to keep you safe because he's going through a lot of a lot of intense stuff right now. Archangel Michael, can I get more messages for the divine masculine? Look, woo, we got a lion. Your, your divine masculine may be a Leo. We got a lion here. We got two cats. But the lion, the lion speaks of sh uh, sudden, sudden shock from bad news. Excuse me. Okay, we got sudden shock from some bad news. So he's heard something devastating, and it's got him in despair. Yes, or he's found out something devastating. It's very possible that he got some sort of message or he found something out about a karmic or someone that he's dealing with, and it has devastated him. I'm hearing the word betrayal, okay? Betrayal. Wow, can I get more messages? Of the Divine Masculine, Archangel Michael, what else is going on with these beautiful masculines? Wow, we got the tower. We got lightning. Look at this. You cannot make this up. We got fire, fire, fire. You know, lightning represents fire as well. Look, that energy is here three times. Wow, this is deep. 
lightning donates surprise and we got the lion this is this speaks about surprises too so suddenly something has happened or suddenly something happened okay and it just shocked your divine masculine's world or it will because i'm hearing the tower the tower is coming okay so there's going to be something that's going to take him by surprise it's going to shake him to the core now this may have already happened and this is going to be related and pertaining to a karmic or a marriage or some female in his life, okay? And I'm also hearing, I can't live without you. I can't go on without you. This could also indicate he's in despair. He's not handling not being with you good, okay? He's not handling, he's not taking that well, Divine Feminine, okay? He's not taking it well. He's not taking it well, okay? And yes, we got disappointment. We got broken glass. We got the lion. Like, he may have married someone, okay? He may have married someone, and he may have had some expectations about this female, this karmic, okay, this karmic partner. He may have had some expectations about her, and this has been devastating, okay? It has been devastating to hear these things or to see this behavior or to see the relationship deteriorate like this because this is not what he had expected. This is somebody that he thought was his life partner, someone that he could be with for life, and only to find out that she's fake, okay, she's an enemy, she's a foe, okay? And I, I definitely feel like this, this karmic partner has been working with someone else, okay? She's been working with a family member here, possibly to sp spread gossip about him or to slander his name or to bring him down or to make his life a living hell, okay? Yeah. Wow, this is sad. Okay, we got the children. The children indicate... A friendly individual okay he's a friendly guy your divine masculine is a gentleman at heart okay he's a gentleman we got the clouds but he has a lot of disappointment in his life he has a lot of disappointment in his life okay yes Ooh, we got the divine masculine and we got the divine feminine both the energies coming in the reading this is beautiful like he's coming to you and a lot of you guys don't even see him coming and you guys don't even know how bad he needs you. He clings to your energy. He clings to your energy like, you know, we cling to air and we need water. This is how deep and desperate he clings to your energy. You know, you're that, you're his light. You're his light. Okay, you make him happy. And you know he hasn't always been there for you. But look what, the, look what type of energy he's in. These are karmic cycles and lessons that he has to go through. Or he had to go through. He put himself through. Okay? Yep. Some people some people may say, well, this is his karma for the way he disrespected or treated his divine feminine. You know? I'm going to not give my opinion on that because I don't... I don't... I, I won't speak on that. Okay? I'm not going to give my opinion about whether or not he's getting his karma based upon the way he treated his divine feminine. In my spirit, I just feel like this is a lesson that he had to go through. Because some of these divine masculines were already with these karmics before they met you. Okay? We got the rose. Look how beautiful he sees you. Okay, divine feminine? He sees you as a beautiful flower. And this also indicates he's going to be bringing you some flowers. Okay? I'm hearing um, something about a Mexican band. Okay? Yes, he may want to take you to a re Mexican restaurant. Or, okay, I'm also seeing this masculine outside of your window or by your house playing music. Okay? beautiful beautiful messages that's gonna relate to some of you guys here look we got the dog okay he's loyal he's loyal he's been loyal to people that didn't did not deserve his loyalty okay and i'm also hearing that loyalty came to an end okay he stopped putting in the work in the connection or he's getting tired of put, putting in work in a connection that has been failing i mean this thing is falling down faster than the rain this connection with this karmic is not going well at all Okay, Archangel Michael, can I get more messages? Your divine masculine may be a Virgo. He may be a Cancer. He may be a Taurus. Look, I have one, two, three, four, six divine masculines on the board. Okay, I have six divine masculines on the board. But you could take this and say this is your divine masculine. His energy saturates this reading. Okay, we got the king of coins, Taurus energy. We got the king of cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your masculine is in his power. Do you see this? Okay, a lot of them are focused on their finances, especially with angel number 888. I spoke about him being financially wealthy and abundant. Okay, in terms of his love for you, 
You know, the King of Cups, he's a loving man. Okay? This is a loving man. But he's also a man that doesn't necessarily express it. He hasn't been expressing that love that he has for you. Okay? He hasn't been expressing the love that he has for you. He's been holding it back. Okay? We got the Hermits. Virgo energy. Your masculine may be a hermit. I'm definitely picking up on a, uh, a Virgo masculine. But also I'm picking up on an older divine masculine here. Okay? He may be between the ages of 25 and 65 years old here. And I feel like he's aged quite a bit mentally and physically. There's going to be some signs of aging on your masculine. Now, that doesn't mean that he's going to, you know, not be recognizable by you. They're just going to, there's going to be some signs that he's been through some things here, okay? He may have gained weight, okay? That's here. He may have lost weight as well. He may be over drinking at this time. Look, we got the six of coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. He's always the one that they go to, Okay? Everybody always needs him, but the person that needs him the most, he hasn't been there for, and that's his divine feminine. And it hasn't, you know, heard about it. He knows it. You don't have to beat the divine masculine up for him not being there for you. He know he hasn't been there for you. All you have to do is talk to him every day because he's always with you, no matter what. You guys are spiritually linked. You are his rib. You know, they speak about, you know, when a man finds his rib, he's found his true love. Okay, you are his rib. These karmics could never, they could never evoke the feelings that you bring out in your masculine. Look, we got the three of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. It's almost like he's sad he can't make his approach, you know, sooner. Or he's sad that he hasn't been able to make his approach sooner for you here. Because he knows he's supposed to have been there. And for some of you, yes, this karmic and him are going through a very tumultuous time. Okay, this is a very loving man that's work that I'm hearing a workaholic. He works hard here. And you know, I feel like, you know what, the divine masculine made some bad choices. He made some wrong turns. Yep. He's very prosperous here. We have prosperity. Your divine masculine is a prosperous individual just like you. Okay. He's destined for wealth. He's destined for that. That's his destiny. Okay, we got a union here. Yes, look at this union. This union, this union, this union is going to come together. Some of you guys are destined to marry your divine masculine, just point blank, period. Look, we got remembrance. Your angels, your ancestors. I'm hearing their, your divine masculine ancestors and your ancestors. Okay, they watch over this connection. They do. I'm telling you because I picked up on the energy of my divine masculine's mother that has crossed over and his dad. Okay, I picked up on both of their energies. So you may be feeling, you know, your divine masculine's ancestors' presence around you. Pay attention because they look over this connection. Yes, look, we have prosperity, union, okay, and the king of pentacles. This is not only an emotional connection. This is a wealthy-ass connection. The two of you have the capabilities and the potential to be extremely wealthy here. But the divine masculine has been going through a hard time. Okay, the divine feminine goes through a hard time as well here. And a lot of divine feminists, you know what? They had to go through a lot of hard days and a lot of hard nights without their masculines. Yes. A lot of hard days. Okay, your divine masculine may be, you know, he may be operating in his shadow side, his shadow energy. That has caused him a lot of trouble here. Look, it's caused him a lot of trouble. We got deception and envy. Yes, and we got falseness. So he's certainly connected to a karmic that may be only with him or lately she has been just about his money you know i never like to say oh she's with him for the money for some of them it's true okay he financially is okay he financially takes care of the family okay there's a deception here for between him and his karmic there's deceptive energy yes and everything is falling apart in that connection or has or it will be the tower will hit okay he's a divine he's he is a divine being I know he doesn't always operate in that divine energy, but that doesn't make him not a divine being, okay? Be patient at this time, divine feminine. Be patient, okay? Be patient because your divine masculine is going through a lot of emotional turmoil in his life. Yes, movement, choices, and decisions. He has some moves to make. He, ha he has some choices to make. It's time to make some decisions, and he knows it. You know what? In the beginning of the reading, the angels told the divine masculine, it's time to get on this soul's journey. It's time. Okay, the more you fight it, the more you, lo the more you, okay, I'm hearing the lower you go, but I'm also hearing the more you fight it, 
the longer you know you prolong it. You want to be in union with your divine feminine, you're not going to be brought in in this energy. Uh-uh. No, the angels are not going to bring you in her energy like this. Okay? She's just, the, I'm hearing, she's just not. She's just not. Some of you divine feminine have, some of you divine feminines have uh, female angels here. She's not going to bring you in this, this divine feminine's energy like this. Look, he, conf, we got conflict, despair, despair, and defeat. Look what he's going through. Okay, conflict, despair, defeat. We got despair again. Okay, look at this message that your divine masculine has today. Okay, look what this, look at this. He's, he's, we got despair twice. He's going through a lot of emotional turmoil, physical conflict. He may not feel safe, okay? He may not feel safe. He may want to run away, but then he feels tied down and obligated. So this is somebody that may go out to the bar or go hang out with their friends to get away for a couple hours and then he's right back in that tour more with that karmic in that house okay yes my nose is itching some of you guys <laughs> he's coming in okay some of them are coming in yes we got archangel jeremiah okay he's working with the divine masculine to understand the power of forgiveness there is some forgiveness that needs to be had on your part divine feminine but also the masculines, okay? He needs to forgive himself, okay? For for putting himself through this. Okay, this relationship with this karmic or karmics have taken him through it. There's gonna be some physical changes that you will notice in your divine masculine. Okay, I seen angel number 3131. Okay, I'm also hearing don't be too hard on him. Don't be too hard on him because guess what? He is your divine masculine. And he is a human, and he is experiencing things just like you are. You know, a lot of people always say, well, the readers always go so easy on the masculines. It's not about going easy on the masculines. It's about telling the story and telling the truth about what's really going on with these masculines. He's the other side of you. So you want somebody you want somebody to be compassionate with you, Divine Feminine. Okay, be compassionate with him at this time. Because Archangel Jeremiah is already working with him to understand the power of forgiveness. Okay, the power of forgiveness is being worked upon. He's going to have to forgive himself. He's going to have to forgive this karmic. You're going to have to forgive him. Okay, he's thinking about this thing. Look, he knows it. It's time to let go. It's time to move forward. And if he doesn't get on this path, get, get, I'm hearing get back realigned on this path. Okay, he's just going to, he's just going to continue to experience tower after tower, turmoil after turmoil, betrayal after betrayal, defeat after defeat. Some of these divine masculines may be in a very, very, very depressive energy, okay? It may be having a lot of thoughts that, you know, that are not very good. That's why some of these guys may reach out to you. They may call you. They may text you. Or they may telepath telepathically try to communicate with you because he needs your energy. You are his light. You are that peace, okay? You are the one that makes him happy. You make him happy, and you bring him that peace, okay? We have take a leap of faith, divine masculine. Okay, look, your angels want you to take a leap of faith, baby. You know what? Some of you guys, your masculine is ready to take that leap of faith towards this union. Okay, he's ready. For some of you, this is about a masculine that's going through a very tumultuous time with a karmic. For some of you, this is about the masculine just been fighting himself and fighting his connection. Okay, yes. Can I get some final messages for the divine masculine? Okay, we got introspection, okay? He's been looking deep here. He knows it's time. A lot of your divine masculines have been dealing and healing through childhood trauma. He wants to marry you. Will you marry me, he says? A lot of you guys will be getting married. We've seen that with the, we've seen that with the union card, okay? We got research. He may be researching locations for you guys to live, researching, you know, different jobs, different opportunities, okay? He may be researching spiritual things. He may be watching tarot readings. Okay, he's researching something here, okay? We got image reputation, I told you. A lot of your divine masculines are powerful, okay? He has an image, he has a reputation, people know him. Surprise, you may be surprised to find out how powerful and well-known your divine masculine truly is, okay? We have music, he may be an artist, an entertainer, a musician. Pay attention to music around this time, okay? A lot of them are definitely broken up or have broken up with a karmic or they're going through hell with a karmic. I mean, this karmic is really trying to make his life a living hell. And she's trying to bring other people in or she has brought other people in to try to bring him down. Look, 
single, single divine feminine on the board. But this could also indicate your divine masculine is single, okay? Or he will be. Look, we got burning bridges. He will be. Look at all this fire energy in this reading. There's a massive, massive destruction that has taken place in terms of a relationship or someone he's connected to. Okay, there's too many flames here. This is too many flames. I pray that, you know, he hasn't had a house fire. And I pray that that doesn't happen. But the energy is certainly here. Okay, something is burning down to the damn ground. And I feel like the karmic, you know what, you'll be surprised. Or you may, maybe you not. You'll be surprised to learn how low they'll go to bring him down. Look, we got a man crying. Yes, he's crying. This has not been easy on him. He's in despair. Okay? We see like we saw the energy twice. Celibacy. He may not be having sex at this time. Okay? Or he may not be having sex with that karmic. Or there's just a lack of desire for sex with her. I mean, how could he want to have sex with her when they're always fighting? And she's always causing problems, okay? Or they're always having issues. Okay? Look, we got will you marry me twice? Divine Feminine, there's at least two of you, okay? There's two of you. I see six masculines, okay? Take it how it resonates. Six masculines on the board. There's two masculines that want to marry you guys, okay? This could indicate one masculine. Once again, he wants to marry you, okay? Two different decks. Will you marry me? Yes, I believe he could be researching different rings right now, okay? Or he's had that in mind. I feel like he's closer than ever to you, did closer than ever to you, you know, energetically and spiritually, spiritually, because he's trying to find out more about you. Okay. But we got, will you marry me? Divine feminine. Will you marry me? He's asking for your hand in marriage twice. And these are beautiful diamond rings too. Okay. Beautiful. He needs to practice more self love. Okay. This is why he comes to the divine feminine because she does in her own way, practice self love. And he needs that nurturing love from her. Look, we got to communicate. He's watching you online, okay? He's certainly getting ready to communicate. He's always communicating with you in the 5D, okay, in the spiritual realm. Look, public eye. Your divine masculine is well known. I spoke about this, okay? We got image and reputation. Your divine masculine is well known. I'm hearing a rapper, okay? An actor, okay? He's well known to the public. Uh, I'm hearing a lawyer, okay? Look, it's time. It's time for him to get on board. Now, he don't get on board for the Divine Feminine. He gets on board for himself so he can be a better man for her. Okay, that's the ultimate goal. Mm, he's learning his lessons, Divine Feminine. He know. He know. He had to go through hell to learn this lesson. When God puts someone in your life, you embrace it. But it's so powerful. The connection is so powerful. Okay? Anybody would run. I'm sure you've ran at times. Okay? He ran at times. There's always a runner and, you know what? A chaser. I feel like at this time, your divine masculine is ready to come in. He's waiting for the right time to make his move here. A lot of them have filed for divorce. Okay? A lot of them are. A lot of them are divorcing. Here's the karmic. She shows up. It would not be a reading without her if we're speaking about the divine masculine. We got karmic and karma. This karmic is his damn karma. He had to learn his lesson. The divine feminine was put in your life. Embrace her. Love her. Okay? In terms of all this lying, you know, standing you up, that's part of his karma. This karmic was his karma. Point blank period. Okay? Point blank period. He may be a Leo. This lion has came out twice. Okay? Three energies of cats. Be careful with cats, especially in your dreams. That's a sign of witchcraft, okay? Yes, spiritual attacks, but pay attention to the lion in your dreams. If you see a lion in your dreams, that's going to confirm to you your masculine is strong as hell, despite what he's going through at this time. Because angels, your angels, ancestors are watching over you both, okay? Yep, for some of you, he's single. He will be, okay, guys? I hope this reading resonated. It went on way longer than what I really intended. But, you know, when the messages are deep, you really, really have to go deep into it to get the best possible outcome. Okay. Oh, it's like <laughs> the mask is a lot. The mask is a lot. Okay, divinely Dustin. No, 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 no. Give us a few more. Okay. Once again, we got shadow side. He's working through that dark side. Okay. Yes. He, he may be um, practicing different rituals, divine feminine here. 
Yes, setting his attentions. These are some things that he needs to do to make things better for himself. Make firm decisions and stick with it, okay? You guys may be hearing from him by the winter. You know, the winter is literally a few weeks away. Yep, we got some secrets. Yeah, he's been holding back a lot of secrets, but you know what? The secret's out of the bag. He loves you. God bless.